What is up? What is up? Welcome to another fighter showcase, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we'll be using that man right there, Rafael dos Anjos. Rafael dos Nachos. <laughs> That's who we'll be using today. Um, let's see how, let's see how well these matches will go. Dos Anjos is someone that I I definitely enjoy using. He feels a lot better in UFC four than he did in in past games in UFC three. Uh, UFC 3, he was fairly glassy in the sense that it was it was kind of easy to rock him and get him out of there. But uh, in UFC 4, he feels a lot more durable. He really does. You could you could you could have some some hard fights with Dos Anjos and actually do well. Um, he's also one of those characters that, um, and when I say character, of course, I'm referring to Dos Anjos. In the game, he's one of those characters that nice. He's one of those characters that you could use in a multitude of different ways. Um, I personally like to use him as a striker. That's what I like to do. I know I could grapple with him. I could predominantly grapple with him. Um, but I prefer to use him as a striker. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. If there's an opportunity to, you know, grapple, sure. Whoa, you are looking for trouble, sir. Then again, that is also my style, honestly, when it comes to when it comes to grappling. It's like I'm more of a opportunistic grappler in the game. It's like I don't really seek it out too much. Like I don't try to force it. I'm not gonna force takedowns or anything like that. But if I knock you down and we end up on the Is this man about to start doing what I think he's about to start doing? Are you, is that what you're about to start doing right now, bro? Because, like, I will fucking fight fire with fire with you today, bro. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Really, bro? I went, I went conventional stance because role playing is over, man. Role playing is over. This dude is not. It's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just role playing is over. I'm just gonna fight this guy now. And I'm gonna give him a little, a little, a little bit of taste of his own medicine, bro. Sometimes it just has to happen. I'm not going to really try to hold them. <sighs> I think I'm just going to get back up to my feet, bro. Because... I just land his, some of these knees to the body. Okay. Round is over. Um, in round number two, I'm going to let off the gas a little bit, just just so he doesn't use the excuse that you know the reason why he started knee elbowing was because I was pressuring him. So I'm gonna let off the gas a little bit, just to see if if uh, if he stops doing that. It's possible. It's possible he'll stop. That's what I'm hoping for, because I really want us to have a a, a good fight. I would like us to have a, a clean fight. Um, so I'm going to let off the gas a little bit. I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm not going to pressure him as much. And let's just see. Let's just see if that affects his style of play. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to move around a little bit.
His body is busted up too. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got some layers to you. That's good. That's good. All right. Tricks. You want tricks. I like tricks. My man's got some layers to him. No, no, it's okay. I got you. I got you. That's way better than what you were doing before, bro. I'll tell you. Now we're going to play. Now we're going to play a game. Oh, come on, man. Don't devote. Don't, come on. Come on. Don't go back to that. Got him. All right. Tricks, tricks, tricks. Fake, fake, fake to the head, fake to the body, good. There you go. Uh-huh. That's no 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 no, it's okay. It's okay. Mercy. There's a mercy rule in, in Mortal Kombat. I was watching a Mortal Kombat gameplay the other day, and I, I didn't even know there was something like that. And dude, I think it's the dopest shit ever, bro. Like, no. I thought it was so freaking cool. I was watching a match. Um I was watching a match between it was uh it was Tweety and Sonic Fox. I, I don't know, I think it was was it Mortal Kombat I was watching, or maybe it was Injustice. Something. I think it was one of it was one of those games. Um Sit him down. Beautiful. Yeah, it was one of those those games and um I think Sonic Fox was just about to finish Tweety. And he did some something that's a, apparently a, like a mercy rule where you give the dude like one more chance to, to see if he can come back. And, uh, and he didn't come back. And dude, I, I, I thought it was so dope. Like I thought that mechanic was so fucking dope. I would like... Nah, I mean it's pretty damn gamey so I'm not going to ask for it. But I do that sometimes in my fights now. Let's move on. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. This is, uh, I really like this matchup right here. So we're going to try to take his wheels away because Steven Thompson can be a problem in terms of his footwork. So we'll be looking to take his, take those wheels away from him and then just, uh, just overwhelm him. That's it. You know, one thing I'm going to say, and like this, this, this surprised me myself, but I think I, I think I'm just gonna make a full-on video about it. But in terms of locomotion, in terms of movement, because I've been playing Fight Night Champion a bit more. Um, I went back, played. I went back and played. Uh, Played UFC 2, EA UFC 2 a little bit. Um, UFC 1, UFC 3. And in my opinion, in terms of movement, like moving around the fight area, um, I think the most important thing in terms of movement, I think the most important thing is control. Even when you're creating a realistic game, in my opinion, I think the most important thing is control. Um, even if it goes against realism, because like the movement in UFC, oh my God, how did he survive that? Knocked him down again. Oh my God, bro. Yo, how many fucking knockdowns did I just get this man with? I can't, dude, I'm still shocked he survived that first one. I mean, that was, he straight up face planted into my foot. And then face planted on the canvas. But yeah, dude, the level of control you have with the movement in UFC 4, it's better than any other game I've played. Like, the only other games I can compare it to 
or uh, like the Mortal Kombat, Injustice, Street Fighter style games. Like, like I have even online where you have a little bit of delay, a little bit of lag. Like as I'm moving my character, as I'm moving my fighter around, like this, I've been paying more attention to it just because of how much I fought, how much I fight controls in Fight Night Champion online. It's so fucking distracting, bro. It's so, like, I'm gonna tell you, man, the one thing you don't want to notice while you're playing a fighting game is, yo, moving my character around doesn't feel smooth. Like if there's anything at all that should not even be a thought in the mind of the player it's like when you're moving your character around like the locomotion is the first thing that has to be nailed and i think the most important thing in, in that has to come first is um uh accuracy of controls over realism so like if you take a look at like if, if we if we make this if we make movement realistic is it going to take away from fine control from the player if it will i think dial back on the realism um a little bit because what i've also noticed is that it can still look pretty damn realistic even if it's not as realistic as it can be like like the ufc move ufc four movement is i'm moving the characters around it looks realistic to me but of course there is no conservation of momentum for example um my my, my, my character stops on a dime um he moves on a dime he changes angles on a dime. Um, and of course, that's not realistic. Like, human beings don't stop on a dime. Like, we don't halt. You know, we don't halt like machines. You know, if you're moving forward quickly and you halt a little bit, there's conservation of momentum. Your body is going to, you know, an object in motion remains in motion for a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? So, so... So there's that, you know what I mean? Um, but that aspect of realism in a video game setting ends up feeling just uh, laggy. Just like you don't have full control of your character. Rocked again. And um, when I went back and played UFC 2, it was so... It was so glaring, bro. I don't even... Oh, whoa. He's checked my kick that much? When I went back and played UFC 2, it was so fucking glaring. I, didn't, I don't even know how the hell we played... We got used to that shit. Because it's like so... I'm like, oh my god. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. But I prefer UFC 4's movement way more than that. Um... Fight Night Champion has it a little bit, like just a tiny little bit. And then you take the character online and it's it's glaring as hell, bro. So I'm noticing this man is yes, I was about to say I'm noticing he's throwing he's throwing sidekicks now from Southpaw. So you guys will notice me moving to my right. When you move to your when I move to my right, it's gonna make the sidekick whiff. But if I move to my left and he throws the sidekick. It's going to land because I'm moving towards his heel. See that? Moving towards my left, it landed. But if I move to my right and he throws it, it's going to whiff. Uh, just stuff to keep in mind. See that? Yeah. Just keep keep that in mind anytime you notice someone throwing sidekicks. Move away from, from the heel of the leg that's throwing it. So, move away from the heel and... Uh, Ill whiff. You know, it's like the ability to play footsies. Like footsies, it, 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 it's, it is like... Oh! That should be it. There we go. Like footsies is a... It's something you see in arcade arcade video games like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, games like that. Like that's where you really see footsies. But it's, it's also something that, like, is very important in even a realistic game or, like, a simulation-style game, like, like, you know, a game that's supposed to be an MMA game or a boxing game. I think the ability to play footsies is also very, very important. Um, I'm just, I'm drawing more similarities between these games and, like, arcade-style games. Like, there are certain things from arcade games that, in my opinion enhances the experience of 
realistic games. That's and that's one of them, in my opinion. I think. Um. But yeah, I'll I'll dive into this topic a bit more because it's um it is something that that in my opinion requires a, a, like a bit a bit of thought. You know, it definitely requires a bit of thought because I remember when I was playing when I was playing Undisputed. That is something that I noticed. Um, I was fighting the controls, man. I was fighting the controls and like the movement. It it looks realistic. It has realistic elements to it um, with the conservation of momentum that they added to it, just like in UFC 2. But the actual experience of like moving the character around, there's a certain amount of fine control you need in a fighting game where like that is just it's it's missing a little bit, you know. And again, I'm noticing that very heavily in Fight Night Champion. Notice that when I went back to play UFC 2. Um, but like a game like EA MMA, for example, doesn't have that. Uh, EA UFC 1 has it also a little bit. Um, UFC Undisputed 3 doesn't have it. UFC Undisputed 3 gives you extreme control of your fighter. Very, very clean control of your fighter. Um, so it's just, just a few things, to, uh, few things to, to, to think about. Sorry about the screaming in the background few things to, to think about like i said i'm gonna make a, a full-on video just diving deeper into that um and actually showing you guys what i'm talking about but as i was just playing this match right now i was, I was noticing just how much control i had of, over my fighter and that's what you want like i want a situation where i'm like holy shit like i actually have a lot of control over my fighter i had so much control like i totally even forgot it right it's like a, a good video game just like a good movie right where like you're the, the things are done like a really good actor for example you forget that you're watching a fucking actor perform but if you if you're ever reminded oh shit this dude's acting there's something wrong <laughs> there's something wrong it's like okay yeah he's not there's something wrong with his performance for me to remember he's fucking acting you know you want to there, there's certain things you want to just forget even though it's happening that's how you know okay this is working correctly it's, it's just it's just right you know um so yeah i'm going to leave it at that this was a fun fighter showcase i just wanted a couple fights with uh rafael dos Anjos. two solid fights two solid finishes my opponents were good as well so so good good very good matches um go ahead and follow me on instagram at martial mind art if you watched the video this far and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys later today with another video. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys.